Welcome to Panels and Borders. I'm Dominic. So since I did a, a story on that article that came out basically talking about how problematic the Baron was and all that kind of stuff, there's been another one that came out since then, how Paul Atreides is a white savior trope and all this kind of st stuff. I was going to do a video on that article, but uh, Ideas of Fire and Ice did a really good job of dismantling that guy's argument. So what I'll do is I'll just leave a link to his video in the description area of uh, this one. But I was just on Twitter and I'm starting to see now that Dune is getting more and more attention and it's getting more and more criticism. Uh, so uh, this, uh, this author, uh, I didn't know who this guy was, Christian uh, Kiefer, I think his name is. So he's an author and so he's been reading Dune and he's been quite critical of it. Uh, so I followed this thread yesterday. Now. I'm not attack attacking the guy, he's entitled to his own opinions, but I thought it was just an interesting argument that he had. And uh, so basically it starts off, so I'm reading Dune. It's about state-supported drug cartels trying to suck the resources out of a planet they have stolen from its indigenous populace. I'm not sure who I'm supposed to be rooting for because all the central characters are awful. So uh, I can tell right from this very first tweet I guarantee this guy is an intersectional feminist. I can you can always tell right away, right away, because everything now, because everything has to be criticized through the lens of who is the oppressor and who is the oppressed. So this is so so now you know where his uh, criticisms are all coming from. And then he uh, goes on to say maybe Neil himself would weigh in. So let's see what Neil Gaiman has to say. Uh, so Neil Gaiman just says, Dune Messiah is worse. And he goes, ah. And then this person replies, uh, I love you both, but you're so wrong. And a word to the wise. Too much or too much or this sort of talk and you'll rouse Shai Halud from its slumber. And he goes, I wish Herbert was more aware of the implications of his own politics here. It's a lot of fun to be sure, but Paul's role as some kind of messiah to indi indi indigenous peoples are just a little too Spanish, mich Spanish mich mission system for me. So um, it's not the same as the, it's not even the same as a hist why he's comparing it to a historical event, I don't know. Um, it's bothersome. He seems to assume the reader understands that it's better for the Fremen if they accept the Imperial invaders, colonial powers, over their new leaders. Uh, so much not very veiled or Orientalism here. Even the word, even in the exotic false Arabic names. Uh, well, let's look at the book here. If uh, the Fremen are indefinitely better under the uh, leadership of the Atreides, then they are the Harkonnens. <laughs> the Harkonnens were very brutal and very cruel to the Fremen. And at the end of the book, the Fremen are freed and actually not just become rulers of Dune, but rulers of the of the whole galaxy because uh, Fall, Paul at the end of the book becomes a Fremen. So he becomes, he actually becomes a Fremen uh, because he rides the worm and all that. So he gets accepted in, into the tribe. Uh, so that's... Uh, so it almost seems like this guy suffers from some white guilt or something. But uh, let's see what else he has to say. I know that it's who Herbert wants us to root for, but they're doing the same shit the cartel is the other cartel is doing. Now there's hokey imported religion underpinning shit there too. But it's see he's missing the point. Spice is an analog for oil, not drugs. I mean it has like a drug side effect, but it's more about. You have to look at it as how oil controls the whole world and everything revolves around oil and how big car, big huge companies have, uh, you know, control of oil. So uh, the big cartel is actually the spacing guild and the houses are just dealing in the spice. And he goes, I'm actually enjoying, I'm, I'm enjoying it actually. It's just way problematic in its politics in for a 2019 readership. No, it's only problematic for intersectionalists, not the rest of the world. <laughs> and then this guy counters, that's exactly the point you're supposed to see, the fallibility of the heroes, even morally driven heroes, and how even the religious and moral are swept up in zealotry and become corrupted in power. See, buddy's, yeah, see, buddy's told there, this guy's missing the whole point. See, because he's he's looking, he's taking a very shallow view of the book, where this guy is, is spot on, uh, you know, the, 
Paul is basically, the whole point of the book is what happens when you put your faith in a religious leader or messiah or, her or hero. It's basically a deconstruction of the messiah myth, uh, Dune. And then it says, at the time of writing, most of the book's themes seem pretty relevant to the world's social climate, to be honest. True, great literature transcends its own social mores. I'm waiting to see if this does. So far, not, but I'm only halfway through it. Uh, yes, it does transcend it. And uh, so there was one interesting tweet he kind of had. So uh, this is the tweet I wanted to point out. I think this is a very interesting tweet. It's very good to be sure, but 1965 social politics are difficult to swallow. Paul's mom's a badass, but the moment they crash land in the desert, she's basically totally hopeless and her teenage son has to lead her. Uh, so let's talk about that because that's an interesting uh, thing. Uh, the women in Dune, I think, are really, really powerful female characters. But you have to think about the situation now. They, uh, her husband was just killed. They were just ambushed and, uh, by the Harkonnen and they're on the run for their lives in a completely alien and hostile environment out into the desert. Now, Paul's consciousness by this point is already starting to be transformed by all the spice consumption. And uh, he has like a waking dream while they're there. So, uh, yeah, she has a moment where she kind of becomes unhinged. But as soon as they run into the Fremen, she almost takes out their leader. And she could have take, taken out their leader, Stilgar. And so that's part of, the, part of how they get accepted into the tribe. And the other thing, uh, he's only, he only has a problem with it because it's a man leading a woman. If it was written today, it would be reversed and he'd be cool with it. If, it was a, if this was a woman and her and her husband, or her and her, uh, uh, say her and her father crashed into the desert and her father completely becomes unhinged and can't help himself out in the desert and then she has to lead him. Oh, he'd be talking about how powerful of a character she is and how good it is and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, I, that, I guarantee you that's how it is. Just because I kind of know the ideology that he's looking out all this through. Uh, either way, there's nothing wrong with it. You could do it either way. Either way, there's not, that's the point I guess I'm trying to make with this tweet, is he thinks there's something wrong with it by, by portraying her needing help in the desert, uh, which I don't think there is. And if you read it, and if you wrote it the other way around, where it was reversed and it was a daughter-father situation, and the father had a moment, had a lapse where he completely became unhinged, and his daughter helped him, he'd be fine with it. But, but either way, like, that's the point. Either way, you could write it either way, and it would be fine. It, uh, it would be, uh, it would be fine either way. So, uh, like, I'm not, uh, like, I, I, you know, I'm not attacking the guy. He's not super overly, he, like, he, he is very critical of the book, but he's not completely, um, uh, bashing the book right, outright. I mean, there is a few tweets. He says he, well, he's kind of contradicts himself. There's a few, uh, spots where he says he doesn't like it, but then he says he's having fun reading it and stuff like that. So, uh, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to bring this, uh, up because it's, uh, I wanted to get, uh, see what everyone else thought of this. I wanted to get feed, feedback on this whole, on his whole, whole argument here and what you, uh, what, what everyone else thinks of it. Do you think he has any valid points or do you think this guy's all wet? So let me know what you think in the comments section and I will see you at the next one. Thank you to all of my subscribers and thank you for watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification when new videos are uploaded.